even started painting. This is from yesterday, even though I did shower. This one, I don't even know where it's from. I have not even started painting yet. However, I'm going to do something maybe possibly fun today. We're going back to my split pillows because I'm so excited. Sherwin Williams Colors to Go is back. Now, when you do split pillows, you have to be aware that if you use a regular white and a deep base, the consistencies are different. So what I like to do is I ensure for Sherwin Williams, I use my tricorn black. The purple label is the ultra deep base and the blue label is the deep base and I tint the deep base white, which is thinner than the regular green label white. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it easier if you're doing a split pillow and you're spinning and you want it to be more equal. Um, this is a good way to do it. Sorry if you hear banging, we're installing a pool in our backyard. So there's lots going on. Um, it's not a fancy pool, it's an above ground pool for Mo, but still it'll be pretty fun. I'm gonna use this fun new color today. I haven't actually used it before. Unfortunately for you Americans, it is only Canadian. I got it at Desairs. It's the Desairs brand of Dacryl, um, a gold. I've used their other stuff in other videos, like their Moonstone color or whatever. It looks pretty intense. We'll see how it goes. Number three, I'm going to do it on a 12 by 24 situation, which I have not taped yet or anything. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm going to use some colors I've already had mixed up from my other videos. I don't know. Let's get to work. Okay, so let's get to doing the split pillow. I'm just spinning it on my regular cake spinner. Um, I'm not going to do it like perfectly center. I know it's not going to end up perfectly center and that's okay. Um, we're just going to go, oh, there's a little bloop I see already in here. This can, these cans are notorious for bloopies, which you don't want in your paint. Okay. Oops. Already we're making a mess with the black paint as usual. So I'm going to go, and I don't want too much because I don't want to have to spin it and warp it too much. I'm just going to go like this. I guess I'll just use whatever I have left. Right. Okay. Should be good. All right. Next, I will take my tinted white. Extra white. Let's see if it's thinner. It's fun. You know, this is actually quite thick as well. It's this white is not much different than the white. It actually even looks thicker than the white in the green can, which is interesting. Now, <clears throat> what I find with these cans is with the regular white in the green, sometimes they're too thick for me to use. This is okay. It's not really doing what I had hoped. Um, it's a little thicker. So just bear, keep that in mind. So it's gonna spin at like <clears throat> different ratios. Now, hmm, let me just do my thing like this. So I thought maybe it'd be cool to just take that gold. I'm gonna do the sides too because I didn't take the sides. Take that gold and maybe just put it down the middle and then do multi blooms um, down the middle as well. Maybe skewer a thing or two, you know what I mean? So we'll see how that goes. I do not know. All right. We kind of got the picture. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this, shall we? Now, I've had to thin up my paints because just from sitting here, they really thickened up. Is this okay? It's still a little gloopy. There's like some gloops in here. Hold on. I don't know where these gloops came from. So I'm going to do like, I'm going to pretend, just get more gloops out. Why don't I just do like a thin little drizzle? Uh, how am I going to do it without making a mess? It's not likely, is it, Lisa? We're just going to like, you know, and then we'll play with it after, see what happens. Okay, 
So what colors are we using? Good question, eh? Um, I'm using, by the way, Payne's Gray Cell Activator, so I have to think of my layering. I'm probably gonna top them off with the Titan Buff. So I'm just working backwards here. I have a lot of fun colors to play around with. Um, you know what? So I'm gonna start, ooh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start with, this is, um, I've been using this color a lot lately. This is Triart Rose Gold. So am I doing like three blooms here? Probably, okay, let's do, I'll start in the middle and see what happens. Okay, so I got my Triart Rose Gold, okay? That's the first one, so I don't make a mistake. On top of that, I'm going to do, this is like my custom purple from another video. Um, I just took Diox Purple and I put in some carbon black to make it darker and it really comes off pretty black, but nice deep black. On top of that, I have TLP Ball Gown, which is a gold interference. I'm trying not to make a mess, Lisa. I forgot about that. We don't want drippies. Now, kind of fun. Um, I have this vermilion red, okay? Then I'll do, on the other side, this golden magent, magenta, for those of you who don't know. Okay, have these, right? Why not? Then I will do TLP uh, Grenache. And I'll top it off with that Titan buff and blow it out. Now you also have to be aware the black side is going to blow out differently than the white side because it's thinner. So a lot of little things to be aware of. I'm only going to do a little bit of this. Okay, let's see how she blows. I'm gonna blow. Oh, which way should I blow so you can see? Hmm. I think I'll blow this way so you can see. Okay, I've got my Payne's Gray here. She's looking okay. I also have Purple Cell Activator mixed up. Maybe I'll use that too after. You never know. All right. Oops. I blew too hard on that first one there. Okay, blow one. Mm. Is it knocking my socks off? Not necessarily, but what would I do different? I really like the magenta over the black. The vermilion I wish was popping as much as the magenta was, and I'm losing that dark purple, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Maybe do more of the vermilion on the white side. Now keep in mind, like a lot of this is gonna come off, uh, but whatever. I'll just do little ones, right? On either side while we're at it, doing the same layering. Okay, try to be, <laughs> Dr. to remind myself to not be messy. Okay, and then I have this, and then we're, after I blow out, skewer them up, and, oops, see, it's really, I was gonna say it's really hard not to be messy, but maybe it's just me, because I am like fast, I just wanna like, get it done, you know? All right, here's this vermilion. Let's see if we can make it pop a little more. Okay. Oops, see, look at that. Oh well, I'll blow over it, but still, you know? Okay, get these paints out of the way. Um, yep, magents. Okay. Magents. Kidoke. 
So yeah, Mo's really excited for his pool. He's really good at swimming, so we thought it'd be nice for some activity in the summer. Okay, last but not least, I'm trying to move my paints a little bit out of the way. Um, just dropped something, not sure what that was to be honest. <laughs> okay, we're doing a bit of this, and we're doing a bit of this, and I'm gonna blow one at a time. All right, here we go. Mixy, mixy, mix. I'll blow this one first. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh. Blow this one next. <laughs> totally lightheaded. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, they're cute. Let me wait till I can see straight. Get my skewer here. Okay, so I wonder, the problem with spinning like this is these they do get wonky, okay? So you're gonna get wonky business no matter what you do. It just depends how much the wonky business bothers you. If you're a perfectionist, you wouldn't think I'm a perfectionist because I'm so messy, but I think I might be, and I'm very hard on these little blooms, you know? Um, I just don't like when they go so wonky, you know? But, going to happen regardless so I'm just kind of like schmoozing up the edges a bit giving them a bit of character I really am loving this magenta over the black it's looking really kind of neat okay All right, we're almost going to spin. Right. And, all right. All right, we're going. Okay. Now I want these over the sides here. I want this over the side. See how the edges are stretching out already? Oh, there's so many boobles. Hold on. Let me see if I can get those boobles on the white here. Why you got so many boobles, lady? It's quite a bit. I'm not used to boobles like this. Okay. Um. Here we go again. Okay. Now the white and the boobles and the white are really coming up here. I like, I mean, it's cute, right? Turn the sides. Gonna have to do something about those boobles for sure. Over this one here. Um, all right, let me start popping them. You know what? Mm. Because the color is gonna start coming up and I'm not gonna like it. So 
So for bubbles, you can actually, it's okay, it's not an emergency. You can fill them with a paint pen after it dries if you missed one, which I might do. Um, okay, let's see how much paint we have left here. Got a bit. I just like <clears throat> what's happening. I wonder if I just go back and forth a little bit. I think I'll do that to get some of that paint off. And you know what? I'm going to get some of this white paint off as well. Off this side. Because I don't want to distort them too much. But I definitely want to make sure they dry nicely. All right? So sometimes you got to take your time. Just go slow. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see, how would I look at it? It actually looks like so far the white is at the bottom. I'm wondering if I should take more white off. You know? I'll spin it again. too much, didn't I? But I think it will dry nicely. Um, I really love this magenta with the sangria on top. It looks amazing. I'll show you in the light. Um, I don't know. I think I like her. Just getting the bottoms here. Um, hmm. Yep. I think the white is well, now, actually, the black can be on the bottom. Hmm. I do not know. You guys will let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for joining me on this Split Pillow Multi Bloom Extravaganza. Uh, let me know what you think of her. Hope you have a good day. Bye.